It can be painful to check the receipt after a grocery shop. I think it was about 165. I know the prices have been going up, but I don't know if it's necessary or not. Coles and Woolworths both reported profits of more than a billion dollars this year and increased their gross profit margins, leading to accusations of price gouging from grassroots activists and the union movement. Now the Greens want the federal parliament to step in through a Senate inquiry. We do need a focus on these big corporations who take so much, <laughs> so much out of the pockets of families and Australians while raking in billions of dollars worth of profits. Others in Parliament say that's a job for Australia's competition watchdog. The Nationals have been calling for an ACCC price monitoring inquiry. That has real teeth. This inquiry that the Greens and Labor are talking about uh, doesn't mean that the supermarket CEOs have to turn up at all. Cole says it's simply passing on its own rising costs, including construction costs, energy prices, the cost of logistics and packaging and that their profits help employ 120,000 team members and pay taxes and dividends to their hundreds of thousands of mum and dad shareholders. Meanwhile, Woolworth says as we start to see the rate of inflation ease, grocery prices will fall, adding that the cost of fruit, vegetables and meat have all dropped recently. The government says it will back an inquiry which will look at exactly how much it's costing the major supermarkets to put food on shelves. But whether or not it's price gouging, experts say prices won't change significantly without more competition in the sector. Charlie McLean, ABC News, Canberra.